What's going on YouTube? Chris here. Want to bring you all an update today of Litecoin. Right now we're sitting at $73.69. We're up 0.34%. So what I want to do first was go over the technical analysis with you for Litecoin. Then I also have an article that just broke and I wanted to bring that to you and present it to you. So we're going to do that towards the end after we get through this technical analysis here. So if you guys get some from this, you want me to continue to cover Litecoin, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your friends, and we'll dig into this. So first of all, guys, I wanted to point out, remember, everything is predicated off Bitcoin. If Bitcoin tapes, takes a big dump, most likely Litecoin is going to take a dump right behind it. That just is what it is. But what we're going to do today is just look at the technicals for Litecoin. We're going to set Bitcoin aside and we're just going to look at Litecoin here and see what potential we could have for Litecoin as we continue to make these higher highs and higher lows. And first of all, what I wanted to point out was our key support area that we need to hold in our next resistance area. So our first support area, if we are to start retracing back into this area, I want to see us hold $64.18. That was our previous resistance that we broke up through on a very strong candle. We found support off it, we back tested it, and now we're trying to move back up. So it's important that we hold $64. If $64 breaks, I would look down for our 200 day moving average and that's gonna be at $60.92. So ultimately that's where I'm gonna set an alarm right here at that 200 day moving average because if we start breaking down through that and we start losing that previous area that we broke through, that would show that the bulls don't have the strength to continue to break through resistance areas. So I'm gonna end up putting an alert right here and we'll call it $61 right there and then to the upside what I want you to look at here if we continue this nice strong move that we've been having before we start a, a retracement or a correction because right now our RSI in the one day is up around 75 so we're getting up there guys can we continue to move higher absolutely but we are in that overbought territory right now and it's looking like the market may just need a little bit of a breather as soon as we start to hit some of these levels here so the next one's going to be $78.13 if we do break up above that $78.19 then I would want it or if sorry 13 cents I would want to see us find support off that before we make make the next move up to hundred and two dollars and ninety four cents is what I'd look at but right now it's gonna be tough for us to break through seventy eight dollars with our RSI where it's at you can almost see kinda of how we're double topping right here right around that range and remember in this space as we've seen before the RSI can stay very overextended for quite a long time if we actually move back in here you can see guys we were up around 70 and we stayed up around 70 that was 79 we went up to 86 before before we really started a retracement but you can see how we can stay up around the 76 72 71 for quite a while and it's something that I just wanted to point out to you what I like to look at is price action as I continue to go off price action and trends then I'll start adding in the RSI because a lot of the times the RSI can scare you it can be at 70 and you won't take a buy position and in the cryptocurrency space will continue to run for another you know week and a half two weeks and the price could have been at a hundred when you end up taking your profit because the RSI and it ends up running to 120 or something along those lines so I always like to look at price action first and I like to look at the trend then I'll start factoring in that relative strength index because sometimes the oscillators can throw you off and we can just keep running and running and running and that's just what happens in this space so overextended to the upside as well as the downside but what I do like here is that our 20 EMA is crossing through our two 200 moving average and that has not happened here guys actually since we dropped down through we had our 20 breakdown through our 200 there and that was August 19th 2019 and ever since then we have not had a cross positive golden cross to the upside and guys when I study golden crosses I know if you do a typical golden cross they're gonna say the 50 moving average crossing over the 200 but as I've continued to read and read and study in other books I've also read that it's any short-term moving average moving over a longer term so like a 12 EMA moving over a 24 EMA would be a golden cross as well so I don't want to throw anybody off with that but you're starting to see that and then the next one would be our 40 to potentially cross over this 200 and then our 50 over top of this 200 but what I'm saying now is we may a be at that area you can see a lot of wicks up here a lot of profit taking a lot of indecision the candles are getting small we're having those doji candles a lot of fight back and forth so we may be due for that next retracement down into this area $67 $64 before we get that next push up and try to make the higher high 
These are the areas though that I'm paying a lot of attention to. 64.18 for support and then that 78.13 as overhead resistance. And I want to continue to stay up above that 20, 40, 50, and 200 day moving average. We don't want to give those up because if we give those up, that's going to show the bulls don't have the strength and most likely we just start rolling back over. And that's the last thing we want to do. We have a nice trend line break. We want to continue this trend to the upside and we want it to be a healthy trend. We don't want anything to go straight up like we saw back in 2017, just to give you an example. Anytime anything goes straight up on stilts, it is going to be coming back down. And a lot of times it takes a long time to get there. So that's why I'm looking at Litecoin here and I want a nice healthy trend. I want these retracements. I want the opportunity to buy dips when you're in an uptrend. You want these pullbacks so that this, the market can breathe power up before you make that next higher high. So right now things are looking pretty decent for Litecoin. The only thing I'd say is we're getting overextended on that RSI as we run into our next overhead resistance at 78.13. Could we run up to 78.13 before we start to have this retracement? Absolutely guys, there could still be more in the tank. We may even break through that 78.13. It's just gonna depend on what Bitcoin does. And you can see right now the volume starting to head down a little bit as our price is moving up. So that's something that you want to keep an eye on. That may be another indicator that we start to have a little bit of a retracement on our hands here, but we're just going to have to wait and see if you're in a Litecoin position right now. This isn't financial advice. This is where you want to continue to hold those Litecoin positions. When you're in an uptrend, that's when you want to hodl. You don't want to hodl when you're in a downtrend. That's the main thing. So next, what I want to do, guys, and if you like me covering Litecoin, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're going to move on to a little article here for Litecoin, and this is the dailyhodl.com, and this is by, let's see here. Guys, it looks like it's just the staff of Daily Hodl, and this says Litecoin developer reveals privacy breakthrough, eliminating major hurdle and confidential confidential transactions. So I think this is important for Litecoin that this is breaking right now. It says Litecoin developer David Burkett says he's discovered a breakthrough that could solve a major bottleneck hindering confidential transactions. Burkett, who is working to integrate the privacy technology Mimblewimble on the Litecoin network, says he's found a new method that allows users to transfer LTC without the need to be in constant contact with another. So that's a really great thing that you don't have to have both of you on the internet or whatnot at the same time trying to make this transfer. It says the biggest difficulty with using MW is the need for the sender and receiver to communicate, which requires receiver to be online when sending. My proposal, along with an updated version of the write-up that will be released soon, eliminates the need. This removes a major UX hurdle, limits long-term maintenance requirements, and supports receiving via cold storage, making hardware wallets easier to support. This month, Burkett says he plans to begin implementing the rules that will enforce how transactions are validated and begin testing private transactions on the network in earnest. The Litecoin Foundation is raising funds to pay for the research and implementation of the privacy technology. Litecoin creator Charlie Lee says he will match every donation that comes in. So this is a really big deal for Litecoin, guys. They're still innovating. They're still making moves. And I know a lot of people want to hate on Litecoin, but like I said, it's always been one of my favorite projects. You can see a lot of times it leads the market. When it runs, it runs so hard, so fast and aggressively to the upside or the downside. You can see these big moves here. And what I like to do is actually go through and measure these moves so you can kind of have an idea. Each time you have one of these impulse waves, you want to know how long it's going to last until you have that next retracement. And you see this here, guys. Take a look at these retracements. We have a massive move up, which comes on heavy volume. We went straight up. And remember what I talked about. Whenever you go straight up, a lot of times you're going to come down and you can see we retraced almost 100 percent of that move before we started moving up again but with each move we had that sell off or retracement we had another move up sell off or retracement and that's how the market works and you can see to the downside these lower highs and lower lows take a look at what you could be saving yourself if you're able to get out and recognize when you're going to have one of those big dumps, that's 36%. You don't want to continue to hodl when the price can go down 36% like that in a matter of about three days, four days. A lot of huge markets, you look at the Dow Jones and whatnot, it will hardly move 20% in a year. 
So this is where I started to learn how to trade because I could see these dumps coming and I was reading candlestick formations and wicks and things like that. And I said to myself, why in the world would I continue to hold if we're in a downtrend? If we're in an uptrend like we are now and say you bought down here at 40 or whatever, guys, in my opinion, I would keep holding because I believe this uptrend most likely is going to continue in the days and weeks to come. But I would also, you know, protect yourself as well. But right now, it looks like we're having a little bit of a sell-off here. And these candles are getting extremely tight up here. You can see a lot of wicks, a lot of profit taking here. And this is almost turning into a gravestone doji. But what we're going to have to do is wait for the close today. Remember this on the one-day chart. For me, Eastern Time, it's going to close at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And I want to see what happens with this candle. I want to see if we have a higher close than where we closed yesterday. Yesterday's close was at 73.64. So if we have another day where we close up above that, this still makes continue up to where we potentially could test that 7813 before we start to have a retracement so i want to give you a little bit of an in-depth look at litecoin here guys if you get some from this like subscribe hit that notification bell i appreciate you all being here with me today looking outside we got about seven or eight inches of snow so it's just a crazy day out there at least where i'm at you guys let me know if it's snowing and uh have a little bit of a blizzard where you guys are at as well i'm always interested to hear where everyone's from so you know guys let me know down low let me know what you're doing with litecoin are you in a litecoin position are you waiting for the next dip you know to potentially buy you can see my alarm down here is at sixty dollars and 56 cents is going to be an area that i want to pay a lot of attention to and that's going to be that 200 day moving average we desperately do not want to lose that guys we have finally gotten up above it after many many months and we want to show that the bulls are strong enough to be able to hold that level that's the key so let me know down low guys take care god bless